Hi, welcome to this Corporate Miles video. In this video, we're going to look at the angles in a straight line. So whenever we're dealing with angles in a straight line, the angles will always add together to give us 180 degrees. So if we knew the size of this angle, this acute angle, and if we knew the size of this obtuse angle, the red one, and we added them together, the answer would be 180 degrees. So if we have a look at this diagram here, we've got a straight line, and we've got an acute angle of 30 degrees, and this obtuse angle labelled X. And if we were asked to work out the size of this obtuse angle X, well what we would do is we would take 30 degrees away from 180 degrees, and what's left would be X. So if we take our 180 degrees and subtract 30 degrees, what's left will be X. So 0 take away 0 is 0, 8 take away 3 is 5, and 1 take away 0 is 1. So that means that X is 150 degrees. And that's it. And if we wanted to check our answer, we could take 150 and add 30, and 150 plus 30 is 180, and that's it. So that means that the angle X would be 150 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So this time we've got a straight line, and we've got X here, and we've got this obtuse angle of 117 degrees. And if we wanted to work out the size of this angle X, what we'll do is we'll take 117 degrees away from 180, and what's left will be X. So let's do that. So let's take our 180 and subtract 117. So 0 take away 7 we can't do, so we're going to need to borrow. So let's cross off the 8, call that a 7, and now that's 10. 10 take away 7 is 3. 7 take away 1 is 6. And 1 take away 1 is 0. So that means that X is 63 degrees. So that means that X is 63 degrees. And again, we can check our answer. If we take on 117 and add 63, that's equal to 180 degrees. So the angles in a straight line add together to be 180 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So our next example, we've got a straight line and we've got three angles this time. We've got 58 degrees, X and 43 degrees. And these three angles will add together to be 180 degrees. So if we want to work out the size of this angle X, what we'll do is we'll add 58 degrees and 43 degrees we'll get that answer and we'll take it away from 180 and what's left will be x so let's do that so let's take 58 and add 43 so we'll do 58 plus 43 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 so put our 1 down carry 1 and 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so 58 degrees plus 43 degrees is 101 degrees and if we take that away from 180 because we know the angles in a straight line added together to give us 180 degrees what's left will be x so we'll do 180 degrees subtract 101 degrees and when we do that we get well 0 take away 1 we can't do so we'll have to borrow so let's cross off the 8 and call that a 7 and now this is 10 10 take away 1 is equal to 9 7 take away 0 is equal to 7 and 1 take away 1 is equal to 0 so that means that x will be 79 degrees so x is 79 degrees and again we could check our answer if we add together 58 79 and 43 we should hopefully find that will be equal to 180 degrees okay let's have a look at our next question okay let's have a look at our next example so here we've got a straight line and we've got three angles we've got 38 degrees x and this right angle so this is the right angle symbol and if you need a recap on right angles go to corpmaps.com and watch the video called types of angles and that'll talk about this symbol and it'll say explain that that's a 90 degree angle so whenever i see the symbol i like to write 90 degrees beside it just so i know that that's a 90 degree angle so if we want to work out the size of this angle x what we'll do is we'll add 38 degrees and 90 degrees together we'll work out what that is and then we'll take that away from 180 degrees and that'll tell us what's left for x so let's do 90 plus 38 and let's see what we get so 0 plus 8 is equal to 8 so put our 8 down and 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 so that's equal to 128 degrees so that means that 38 degrees plus 90 degrees is 128 degrees and we're now going to take that away from 180 degrees to see what's left for x so we'll do 180 degrees subtract 128 degrees and see what's left so 0 take away 8 we can't do so let's cross off the 8 and call that 7 and now that's 10 10 take away 8 that's equal to 2 7 take away 2 is equal to 5 and 1 take away 1 is equal to 0 so that means that x is equal to 52 degrees and again we can check our answer if we do 90 plus 52 plus 38 that should be equal to 180 degrees okay let's have a look at our next question so our next question says a b c is a straight line so we've got a b c and it's a straight line so that means that this angle and this angle will add together to be 180 degrees and we've been asked to work out the value of x so we've been asked to work out the sides of this angle so these two angles will add together to be 180 degrees so if we take 65 degrees away from 180 degrees that'll tell us what's left for x so let's do that so 180 degrees subtract 65 degrees so let's start off with 0 take away 5. So 0 take away 5 we can't do, so let's cross off the 8 and call that a 7, and now that's 10. 10 take away 5 is equal to 5. 
7 take away 6 is equal to 1, and 1 take away 0 is equal to 1. So whenever we take our 65 degrees away from 180 degrees, the answer is 115 degrees. So that means that x is 115 degrees. And that's it. So in this question, we were told A, B, C was a straight line. So I just explained to us that that is a straight line. So we know that these two angles will add together to be 180 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Now, this question is a bit different than the ones we've looked at so far. And we're asked, is D, E, F a straight line? So we've got D, E, F, and we're asked, is that a straight line? Now, don't just look at it and say, well, actually, it doesn't look like a straight line. It looks like it bends slightly because the question says not drawn accurately. So what we need to do is actually look at these two angles and we need to see, do they add together to be 180 degrees? Because if this angle plus this angle add together to be 180 degrees, that means that D, E, F would have to be a straight line. So let's work out what 95 plus 83 would be. So 95 plus 83. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, and 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. So that means that 95 degrees plus 83 degrees is 178 degrees. So whenever we add our 95 degrees and our 83 degrees together, we get 178 degrees. So that means that this angle is 178 degrees. So that means that this is actually an obtuse angle. It's not a straight line. It's not 180 degrees. So that means that DEF would not be a straight line. So let's write that down. And I've just written down no, DEF is not a straight line, as the two angles, 95 degrees and 83 degrees, will add together to be 178 degrees, not 180 degrees, which is needed for a straight line. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the angles in a straight line. And whenever we're dealing with angles in a straight line, it's very important to remember that the angles in a straight line will add together to give us 180 degrees. And that's it.